Hi there. Today I'm going to talk a little about UV and fluorescent materials. Um, it seems to me that there has been quite a lot of misunderstandings and quite a lot of, uh, of different myths about how UV and, uh, and fluorescent uh, stuff actually works. So what I'm going to try to do today is I'm going to try to explain um, what UV and what fluorescence really is and, and how I think uh, the effects of, of these two, uh, two different uh, things actually work. First of all, I'm going to talk a little about uh, how light and what light really is. Light, is, uh, is, uh, light has different wavelengths. And, uh, and what you can see here is you have X-ray, you have ultraviolet rays, you have uh, uh, this small, small band here represents the light that our eyes actually uh, is able to detect. Then you have infrared rays and then you have radar. So this is a rep representation of, uh, of uh, uh, all the, the different uh, wavelengths that the sun emits. Okay. And only this tiny, tiny band here compared to all that the, this there is, is, is what our eyes can actually see. Up here you have the uh, the ultraviolet rays, the UV. Good. So, what actually happens when uh, when uh, when uh, when when light hits something and your eyes detect it is that uh, that take this fly for instance. This is a fairly big fly. It's it's uh, orange and it's green. And um, what happens when when light hits this fly is that uh, that some portion of the light is actually absorbed and some of it is reflected. The only the the only part of the light that hits this that is reflected is the part I can see. That is why the, the ostrich uh, hurls here are orange. It's because all the other light that hits the orange hurls here are um, uh, absorbed and only the orange is reflected back into my eyes where my sensory, my, my eyes sensor, sensory cells can absorb it. Good. So eyes uh, detect uh, colors that comes from from mirrors all around. So everything is kind of is, is actually kind of like mirrors. They only reflect different different types of colors. Good. So ultraviolet uh, rays is actually ultraviolet light is actually just a uh, kind of like uh, green light. It's 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 a color, but it's not a color that we can see because we lack the ability we lack the correct receptor cells in our eyes to actually see it. So when I shine this uh, ultraviolet uh, light at, uh, at uh, the camera, what you see is not the ultraviolet light. What you see is the other types of light that this uh, flashlight emits because it sends out blue light as well. So what you see is blue light. You don't see the ultraviolet light. What I've come to know is uh, I've, I've taken some time to uh, to to, uh, to to do some thorough uh, some some fairly fairly thorough research uh, on on this subject, and I could only find one article from uh, from a large American university that uh, that uh, that had a study on uh, on salmon and trout and their ability to see UV light, and that study clearly stated that the only time in their life um, where trout and salmon are able to see UV light is when they are very small before they actually they actually mature into start migrating and then when they are when they have reached a certain size and, and become mature and and re-enters the, the streams to to spawn or or, or are going to spawn and even then when they're small and when they're ready to spawn even then they only have a very very small portion of their eyes uh, that can actually see uv light so this study clearly states that Trouts and salmon can see UV light in in very certain and specific uh, situations and periods of their life, but it's it's still a very very uh, insignificant part of their visual uh, visual sensory uh, apparatus that is actually used for this. So the conclusion I have to draw here is that UV light is not something that fish that actually hunt or salmon and sea trout that actually hunt will be using. I can't say I haven't found any study on, on any other species, but for sea trout and salmon, the the, the, the science it clearly states this. Good. Um, so so UV light is a part of a spectrum. Fluorescence is a completely different story. Fluorescence is actually something that a material can be. It's not it's not a wavelength. It's not a part. It's it's not it's not some kind of uh, it's not some kind of light. It's something. It's it's an effect that certain things can have. When I shine my UV light here, this fly has the UV, uh, the fluorescence effect. And what the fluorescence effect really is, is I shine a light to this, and what happens is the, 
the the UV light and the other parts of light that hits this is actually entering here and then re-emitted. It's, it's reflected back but in a different wavelength. This means that when you have fluorescence you can actually take some ultraviolet light and when it hits the, the, fluorescent, uh, the fluorescent material it actually changes downwards um, in wavelength making it able for us to see and, and making, uh, making the, uh, the fish able to see it as well. So fluorescence makes sense. Fluorescence makes sense um, according to, 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 uh, to flies and to lures and stuff like that because it actually takes a part of the, the light spectrum that wasn't uh, uh, visible to us before and change it, changes it into something that is visible. Uh, this is an effect that can actually uh, that can actually have an effect. This is this is something that can actually have an effect. Um, so, to sum up, I think that all this talk about oh, oh we need to have UV materials because that's the only way and fish will go for their fly uh, straight away and stuff like that. I think that's actually basically just someone trying to sell you more materials than you actually need. I don't think it, it, it has the effect or the magical or the, the really, really extraordinary um, properties that, that, someone, uh, that some, some people are trying to tell. I don't believe that. I don't believe that materials that reflect UV light has any effect whatsoever. Because if that was true, then white, for instance, would be the best color of all. all because white is basically just, uh, it's no color at all, it's basically just something that reflects anything. It also reflects all parts of the UV spectrum. So white would be the, the, only, the only color that would work any time. And it would, it would be amazingly, amazingly more effective than all the other if, if that was the case. Um, I don't think UV has any effect. And I don't think materials that actually can uh, reflect UV light um, is, is something that, that is, that is uh, something that is not even scientifically proven to be better than anything else. What I do think is that the fluorescent materials can have some merit. There can be uh, some effect to this fluorescence and it can, it's quite possible that uh, fluorescent materials actually are better and give some effect that the fish really like. So uh, my conclusion on this is if you take a material and you shine your, your UV light to it then if, it, if you can see the effect then there probably is an effect and there probably will be an effect for, for your flies and, and quite possibly for, for the fish to go for that more. But the UV stuff, I don't believe that for a second. I don't believe that uh, certain materials treated the right way so it has the UV effect is more efficient than anything else. They're just more expensive. And that's pretty much what I'm pretty certain is the truth here. Um, so I hope you can um, I hope you can use this and uh, and uh, and we'll we'll uh, we'll we'll take this for for what what uh, what it is. It's it's something that I've I've I've, I've spent quite a lot of time reading up on this and, and trying to sort out what exactly is what and stuff like that. So so please leave a comment if uh, if, uh, <laughs> if 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 you think that uh, <laughs> yeah I'm right or if I'm wrong. Uh, I would like to to hear even even if you, if you have some some scientific insight that I've missed. Uh, please, please uh, state them in, uh, in, in the comments box. Well, um, those were the words. Uh, thank you again for listening. Bye.